vibe. Ta 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 ta. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. Y'all, it is day seventeen. Whew, we doing it. We doing the thing. We doing the thing. Um, I mentioned in yesterday's video that we be talking about happiness today because we need to be happy. Happiness is important in all aspects of the word happiness. And I feel like as we're looking forward to 2022, we need to be H-A-P-P-Y, happy. We have to be happy as a people, as millennials, because I find that we millennials, sometimes we will sit in a situation just to prolong the inevitable because we know where it's going to go. But a little bit of hope is just sparked right in the little bit, in the little section, in the little crease and crevice of us. And then we feel like, I'm going to push through because it's okay. I, I'm, I was happy when it first started or... I'll get happy again. Let me tell you something. <laughs> this is so good. It was a flip here for me. Um, we need to stop sacrificing our happiness. We need to stop putting ourselves on the back burner. We need to stop saying, well, back when it first started, or maybe tomorrow, I'll be happy anew. Because you may not be, sis. You may not be, sir. And I'm talking... To myself, I am talking to my dearest of friends who we've been on the phone and we've had this type of conversation, okay? I believe, and this is only because of the experience I had this year, when you're unhappy, you should just let it go. Because there's no point in holding on to something that doesn't make you happy. You're going to become miserable. You're going to become irritable. You're going to get angry and upset and you're going to let it out on the wrong person. And trust and believe to all my friends who have tried to let it out on me, they found out I'm not the one. So let's talk about happiness. So happiness is a mood. It's a feeling. It's it. It just makes everything seem better, right? Tis the season. It's like the Christmas spirit. The Christmas spirit has everyone like happy and jolly and nice. But then after the Christmas season, somehow reality sits in and you're just like, whoa. You know, and it, and it becomes a lot. My encouragement to you is do whatever. Mm, I was going to say do whatever it takes to make you happy within reason. So I'll still say it. do whatever it takes to be happy within reason. Don't go disrespecting people. Don't go being rude and messing up people's life in any way, shape or form. But if it would make you happy to go skiing, stop prolonging going skiing. Go ski the next weekend you have off. Go ski. I've learned that as employees, we like to put our happiness on the back burner. And this is obviously specific to work in the work aspect, right? So we're like, oh, but if I don't show up, uh, they're not going to have anyone to do this. But I'm like really over the job. Like I'm, I really don't like it here. Um, but if I don't show up, that means if I don't show up today and I show up tomorrow, that means I'm going to have to fix all the mistakes from the people who showed up today. So I'm just going to go. I'm not happy, but I'm just going to go. Okay. Fast forward two weeks, three months, a year. That same job who you've been slaving for looks at you and says, goodbye. Okay. All right. That, that's the work example. I, I hear you on that. Okay. Let's talk about relationships. When you are not happy, you exit stage left. Or unless the door is on the right of you, then you exit to the door on the right. Okay? Because what's the sense in you sitting in a relationship where the person's constantly making you upset? They irritate you. They um, they anger you. Just the very presence of them. Like, it just gets under your skin where you're just like, why does this person exist? Why do you stay in that relationship, sir or ma'am? Let me know in the comment section. Because you know you're a little bit upset. And sometimes the little seed that was planted from you being upset grows into this big tree 
that you can no longer handle, right? So you're unhappy and you take it out on the person you're with, you take it out at work, you take it out at school, you take it out and on your friends or on the stranger on the, or wow, or to the stranger on the street. Who does that benefit? Because you're still upset and you still haven't told the person you're upset with that you're upset with them. You know what I mean? Let's normalize being happy in all aspects of our lives. Like let's normalize being happy with going to school for this program. Let's normalize being happy with the job that we land at, whether it's a part-time, full-time, whatever type of job it is. Let's normalize just being happy because those who have gone before us, our baby, those baby boomers, I really don't even know how they did it. I saw a post on Instagram that said, these can't be the same jobs our grandparents stayed at for decades. And sometimes I think to myself, how do these people sit in these jobs for so long? But a little part of me had to come to the realization that they were happy. They found some sort of joy sitting behind a desk and typing away for all eight hours. They found some sort of joy in, um, what are some other jobs that people do? Being a crosswalk person. I don't know if those people have been doing it for decades um they found some sort of joy commuting all the way downtown to then have to commute all the way back home from a city that's over an hour away they found some joy in that but we millennials <laughs> i like us i gotta say i like us as a people you know we will try it out and we will start it out and we'll say you know what my mother did it my grandmother did it i can do it too and we take one step foot in the place. And some of y'all will quit the same day. But some of you will push through for the first um, six months or so after your probationary period to see if anything really changes now that you don't have to like tiptoe. And then there are others who do make it to the two, three, four year mark and then say, I've had enough. And I, I like that about us. And get, get why. Because we are able to recognize that something is not right and we are not happy. And we have, some of us, we have a fallback and we fall back on that plan. So whether it is you're working full time and you really don't like the place, but you have a part time job and you say, you know, I'm going to go do my part time while I look for another full time job type of a thing. Or I'm going to go back to school so that I can get a different type of job. I like that about us. I like that we, we like to change gears, you know, I don't drive stick. So whatever action I just did, take it. Okay. So we like to change gear. We're like, uh-uh, this gear is not what I want to be in. Let me accelerate to the next one. Or let me come back because I went too fast. And the police is up there, so I got to slow down. You know what I mean? So I, I like us. I like that we, we want to seek happiness. But here is my issue with us trying to seek our happiness. As millennials, because you my people, we're the same age, so let me talk to you. Sometimes... We just don't know how to do it in a respectful way. Or sometimes we just like up and leave and just make it seem like, yeah, we don't care. When we do care because we still like the place on our resume because it makes us look good. And we cared enough to work there for the time that we did. So why not care to leave in a respectful manner? Because you know that the next job may call this job for a reference, you know? So... That's just my little issue with us as millennials. Yeah, so let's do better as a people, millennials. But again, I love our drive to get to the level of happiness that we may see on TV or on Instagram. I like that about us. I like that we we yearn to be happy. We want to be happy. We want a, a job that makes us feel fulfilled or we want a job where we don't have to work all eight hours and maybe we work four hours so half the time and get the same amount of money some of us want to work like an hour and make the same amount of money now not saying that you can't achieve that of course you can do whatever you want you may end up being a millionaire tomorrow and then you'd be able to obtain your goal you know financially all that stuff but i just want to know when we're looking for happiness are we looking for happiness for ourselves 
or is it that we're looking for happiness in others like we want other people to be happy for us even though we're not happy for ourselves or are you happy for yourself and about yourself and it doesn't even matter what the next couple people over there think and what they're looking at and what they may see because in your heart you're like this is making me happy so i don't care what you think like where are you because i've been i've been at both levels i've been at the part where i really could care less what you think because this right now is making me happy traveling is making me happy being the person i am is making me happy so if you don't like me because you don't like me then you pray about it but i'ma still be me i've been on the other end where it's like oh my goodness like this person really thinks this about me it makes me happy or i was able to do this and this person liked it oh my goodness i'm happy but when you're searching for happiness in other people and you're forgetting about the happiness in yourself it does nothing for you sis it does nothing for you sir because at the end of the day you can't be running down people's happiness because just as quickly as they came to be happy for you they may leave when they've got enough of your happiness and they want to go on to someone else's happiness but when you once you become so content and so happy within yourself and you've figured it out and you're or you're in the process of figuring it out and you're taking everything one step at a time and day by day it really won't matter what somebody over here thinks it's just like in one ear out the other because it's like i already thought this of myself i already felt this way so yeah thanks for acknowledging it but if you didn't acknowledge it i would still be okay because i've acknowledged it within myself child that's a gem that's important we need to acknowledge things within ourselves because if we're sitting over here waiting for everybody to tell us what they think about everything we may or may not do we would be a very unhappy people because some people just don't know how to acknowledge things either way so once we've built up enough self-esteem once we've built up that courage and we can be happy with who we are and as the saints like to say and you gotta know whose you are wow i feel like i was preaching right there um you don't have to worry let's normalize being happy in 2022 let's just kya kya and laugh for no real reason because you're just happy and that's enough and you know when you laugh it really just lifts your spirit it makes you a lot more pleasant it fixes your your cheekbones and something else in your body and all that stuff i did not like the sciences so i can't tell you all of that other jazz but being happy it's like the best thing in the world the best thing and i mean if you haven't been happy in a while try it out take yourself out on a date and just laugh sit down at your table <laughs> Okay, see, it started off as a fake laugh, but then it started getting real. And once you laugh, you'll find such like lovely release. And if you're like me, you just won't be able to stop laughing. Because I have nothing to laugh about, but I'm still laughing because I'm just happy. And being happy is so good. So people, my people, don't let what's happening in the world stress you out that you can't be happy. Don't let every time Doug Ford over here tries to change the rules makes you unhappy. Don't let school or work or that relationship make you unhappy. Be happy for you. Don't let these people stress you out. And I'm learning that once I find something that's stressful or dramatic, I'm like, goodbye. I hold my Simpson into that tree because at the bush, I just, I can't. But what am I doing? I am normalizing being happy. I am normalizing just having the joy of the Lord. And I'm having the joy to the world. I'm normalizing the, the Christmas spirit. And I'm just carrying that Christmas spirit straight with me up into 2022. If you want to join me, I'm normalizing happiness. Hashtag normalize happiness. And just, just be happy. We'll hold each other accountable. You can check me in 2022 and be like, girl, you happy? Trust and believe I'm going to say yes. Because I'm literally removing so many things from my life right now, this year, 
so that I am happy next year. So, happiness in 2022. Let's go. I'm not going to do the new year, new me, because it's a new year, but it's always been the same DeAndre. Like, there's been a little bit of growth, but not in the aspect that they make it seem. Um, so, yes, we're going to do happiness 2022. From my lips to God's ears. And I wish it for all of you as well. So, this is day 17. I don't think I told you guys to like, share, comment, and subscribe at the beginning. So, this is a double portion of life care. Woo. Woo. <laughs> don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell so you stay notified when we drop a new video. And I'll see you in the next one because we got a couple more days left. This is day 17. Woo, woo, woo. So we got 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24, 20, 24. That's the last one, 20, 24. I'm so close, 20, 24. I'm so excited, 20, 24. 24. I'm going to write a song right now. Absolutely not. See you in the next one. Bye.